In its natural state, the electrons in a conductor such as copper freely move from atom to atom, but in a completely random way. To get them to move together in one direction, all you have to do is give them a push. The technical term for this push is electromotive force, abbreviated EMF, or sometimes simply E, but you know it more commonly as voltage. A voltage is nothing more than a difference in charge between two places. For example, suppose you have a small clump of metal whose atoms have an abundance of negatively charged atoms and another clump of metal whose atoms have an abundance of positively charged atoms. In other words, the first clump has too many electrons and the second clump has too few. A voltage exists between those two clumps. If you connect those two clumps with a conductor, such as a copper wire, you create what is called a circuit through which electric current will flow. This current continues to flow until all the extra negative charges on the negative side of the circuit have moved to the positive side. When that has happened, both sides of the circuit become electrically neutral and the current stops flowing. Whenever there's a difference in charge between two locations, there's a possibility that a current will flow between the two locations if those locations are connected by a conductor. Because of this possibility, the term potential is often used to describe voltage. Without voltage, there can be no current. Thus, voltage creates the potential for a current to flow. If current can be compared to the flow of water through a hose, voltage can be compared to water pressure at the faucet. It's water pressure that causes the water to flow in the hose. If current can be compared to the flow of water through a hose, voltage can be compared to water pressure at the faucet. It's water pressure that causes the water to flow in the hose.